Hello and welcome to our STM32 H5 workshop MOOC. In this MOOC, you will learn about the different features of the STM32 H5 microcontroller family throughout a series of labs. So you will learn how to use our software toolset and hardware evaluation boards in order to start developing your own application using this STM32 H5 microcontroller. Before we get started with the MOOC, we would like to present you the prerequisites that you will need in order to follow this course. So I will also then present you the agenda about this MOOC. Prerequisites. So let's start with the hardware. So for this MOOC, we're going to be using the Nucleo H563ZI. So this is the board that will be uh, embedding the stm 32 h5 then you're going to need two usb type c cables one of these cables is going to be connected on this side of the board as you can see right here on top so this is connected to the st link that is embedded right there and then uh, connected you know to the st link the main target which is the stm 32 h5 right there so the first cable will power the board and also permit, you know, and give you the, the ability to program and to debug your stm 32 h 5 that is located in the center of the board. Then we'll need a second cable, a USB cable right there. So another type C and this is, you know, to do some USB uh, examples or labs. So because this right there this cable right here this connector is connected to the usb cell or the usb ip or peripheral of the stm 32 h5 regarding the software and firmware needed so here is what you need first the stm 32 cube id so this is our id for stm 32 when you develop you know your project or your application so this is what you're going to be uh, needing to install on your machine. And we uh, recommend to have a version at least 1.13.1. Then you will need to install the cube library package for the stm 32 h 5 For this, we recommend at least a version 1.1.1. And then uh, the last software needed will be the stm 32 q programmer so this is our standalone programmer for stm 32 and we recommend to have a version at least 2.13.0 and then yes you can also we're going to do some exercise you know with some terminals so like you know to look at the printfs for example in the labs so there are different options you can use you know the one that is included in the cube id so this is one option, but otherwise, you know, if you are familiar with Terraterm or if you have Putty, it's okay, of course, to use that. So we'll use at least one terminal application. We also prepare the file, so a zip file that is uh, linked in the description of this video. And this file will include the following. So the slides of all, you know, the presentation that uh, we are showing during this MOOC. We also provide all the different projects, so the working projects for every labs. Then we'll also include the file where you find, you know, the code to be added for the different labs. And we added some other like documentations, you know, like for, for the boards and the uh, microcontroller and others. You will find the link to download this file in the description of this video. Now that you know the hardware that will be used, the software and the firmware needed, and also the material provided with the zip file, we can look at the agenda. The agenda is simple. We divided it into three different parts. We will start with sessions for beginners. So covering basic configurations of simple peripherals like GPIO, IRQ, so you know the interrupts, timers, ADC. So simple, we'll start easy. The second part of this class will include sessions for more advanced users. So at intermediate level of difficulty compared to the first session. And we, it will cover some more advanced peripherals and modes like GPDMA, the instruction cache, MPU, 
ECC and others. Last, we will have sessions for experts. So this is where we're going to cover, for example, middleware, so Azure Arthos elements, so like USB or the Arthos itself, the ThreadX. Uh, security topics like debug authentication, trust zone and others. Okay, so let's get this MOOC started.